Hello and welcome to a new video about AC. Serious circuits in AC case we all have checked. Yeah? Today we are starting with parallel circuits and we are starting exactly the same way as we did for serious circuits. We want to have a parallel circuit of a resistance and a coil of R and L. Right? I've drawn this here, this is our situation. So now we have a serious circuit with current. Yeah? Now the current is divided, so now the current is not unique in this, but the voltage is unique. So I start by assuming my voltage U, this is the combining element, yeah? my U equals U and zero degree, yeah? zero. Yeah? This means my voltage is here in my real axis, because I'm not my own enemy, I can select it like that. Yeah? Here is my U. This is the point in time I am observing. And the rest of the, of the things, I have to deal with them somehow, how they look like. This is my beginning assumption. Let's first calculate the IR, because IR usually is very easy. Resistors are easy, so IR is U divided by R. Yeah? Ohm's law, which is by the way important, <laughs> divided by R. So actually we have U A J0, E J0, yeah? divided by R, which is U divided by R and R is zero, which is IR AJ zero with IR equals U divided by R. This is the absolute value. So it should not be a surprise that we have here IR and this IR is in phase with U. Alright? So this is in phase with U and we are here. Yeah? So let's have a look at IL. How this is looking? Yeah? U divided by J omega L because that's our impedance of our coil. Yeah? This is exactly the same like minus J U divided by omega L. Yeah? And let's have a look what is minus J. Let's say we have here minus J. Yeah? We have length 1 and and angle, phase angle is minus 90 degree. So actually we have 1 E J minus P half, P half radiant for minus 90 degree. Okay, so that's minus J here. Yeah. This equals, oh, I still have to, this minus J, I still have to write those things. I don't know how, what this equals. Omega L. Hmm. This equals, start here, uh, we have here A minus JP half multiplied and now U AJ0 divided by omega L. Now I only have to multiply those two, so we're ending up with u divided by omega l multiplied by a j minus pi pi half plus zero. I have to summarize those two because if I am make the product of a power, then I have to then I have to at the power, yeah? so actually we are ending up by IL 
multiplied by ej minus pi half and il equals u divided by omega l. So my il is minus p half, so it's going down here. Here is il. And the length is de derived here from the frequency, from the inductance, from... No. And here, node rule, my i is the sum of those two. Uh, so here, write this here, here is my i, and this is ir plus il, according to this rule. Uh, let's write this down, i is ir plus il. Uh, and here, from i to u, I have a phase phi. This is positive. Turning to left, mathematically positive. Huh? I, I up, let's see what is the result of this. Here, u divided by r, this is i r, plus u divided by j omega l, this is i l, so we are ending up I factor out u, so what is the rest? 1 divided by r, and now minus j. 1 divided by omega l. And here we have u. And this is now, here, this is now, 1 divided by the, our impedance z, because then we would have u multiplied u equals z multiplied by i. So this must be 1 divided by z. So 1 divided by our impedance z equals 1 divided by r minus j 1 divided by omega l. All right. Let's have again a look. We're having here real bug. 1 divided by r. We're having here an imaginary part minus omega 1 divided by omega l. And this results 1 divided by z, the sum of this, 1 divided by z. And we are scaling our, our voltage with this. So here we have again the angle phi at the engine. It's going in this direction because we have here turned. Uh, we have not z, we have 1 divided by z. So we're going from here to here. Uh, we're going from here to here. Let's see what our phi, how is calculated. We have arcus tangens, opposite divided by adjacent. Yeah? So we have 1 divided by omega L divided by 1 divided by R. Yeah? And we have minus, because we are have 1 divided by Z. Yeah? So we are going actually in this direction. We're not calculating the... The, the, the value from here to here, we're calculating it from here to here, so we have to use this minus here. Huh? Think about it. Minus arcus tangens, and now we have here r divided by omega l. Hmm? That's it. Yeah. So this is how we can calculate the phase value. And what about the power factor? My, our power factor would be cosinus phi. And this is adjacent, 1 divided by r, divided by 1 divided by z. So the absolute value of this and the absolute value of this, 1 divided by z, is square root of 1 divided by r, Pythagoras, plus 1 divided by omega L squared. So actually we're ending up by 1 divided by R. And now this stuff here. 1 divided by R squared plus 1 divided by omega L squared.
power factor. Faith, <laughs> impotence, everything is here. Yeah. Hmm. Not that easy, right? Especially this thing here is tricky. That this this uh, you have to to use this minus here because actually it's it's the reverse value. If you calculate this and that. The worst thing which is happening is that your angle is in, in wrong. It's not minus the positive, but if you think about the pointer diagram, you immediately see that this angle must be positive, so you just have to use a minus here. This is not that... Here it's tricky to see, yeah? but if you calculate this and you get a negative value and see pointer diagram like that, you know, oof, okay, I mixed up the signs. Parallel circuit of R and L. Right? First parallel circuit. Next time, parallel circuit of R and C. Of a resistor and a capacitor. Let's see how this turns out. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.